the sound of sweet steel pan in the air as the Panorama semi-finals kicked off at the Queen's Park, Savannah. With the medium and large bands vying for 10 spots for the Panorama finals on Carnival Saturday. Despite a late start, Pan Trinbago president Beverly Ramsey-Moore said they had technical challenges but expect to finish on time. We started half an hour late because we had some technical difficulties and I think we should be close to 1 o'clock in the morning but it can happen before that but the bands are moving on and off stage smoothly so we can probably save some time despite the minor challenge the pan trinbago president said the ticket sales have been doing well so up to yesterday we would have already sold over 4,000 north stand tickets and you know that side basically is our revenue side and the capacity of, of north stand is 6,000 so we expect to have a sold out North Stand. And amazingly, I see like the Grand Stand is increasing. So, I mean, it tells me that Pan is in a very good place. The first place prize for Panorama Large Bands is $1 million and the medium $600,000. Pan Trinbago president said this year the association tried its best to increase small bands' prizes. We've tried our best to increase the bottom, those that are at the bottom, because we know that to roll out a, a, a panorama performance on stage is extremely, extremely expensive. And so for those bands that are sponsored, we are very happy for the contribution. And we try our best, you know, government comes in and they give that support to the unsponsored bands and they themselves raise funds and all of that. In the next couple hours, we would get the results as to who will make it to the finals. In the medium band category, one band, Bali Hops, was disqualified because they did not have the required amount of band players for the category. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.